That's the end of the route, so I can come straight up 3rd Avenue. Then I automatically know where the trainees is at. So they serving their route. Like I said, I'll go and talk to them, see how they doing, how their day is going, you know, give them some hope. We're going to take that with us. Our mission is to give people who have been deprived by an unjust, classist, racist system of their fundamental rights the chance to repair that damage and fill that loss. We started Ready, Willing, and Able because all these men needed was an opportunity. I did 27 years, so I've seen a lot of people go out and I see them come back. They give you $40 and a bus ticket and you literally thrust out there and you have to fend for yourself. August 10th, I was paroled. August 12th, I walked in this room right here. Okay, thank you, brother. All right, you have a good day. Yep. Stay cool out there. Yep, thank you. Seemed like it was too good to be true. A place that helped you get an education, job training skills, a place to stay, and also allow you to earn money while you stay there. The Doe Fund was like the lifeline for me. You want an opportunity, you want to get up and work and stay drug free and save your money and make yourself more marketable. All those tools are available. Good afternoon, Mr. Wright. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? All right. My name is Carlos Jones, and I'm going to be conducting your screening for this afternoon. My job here as a senior recruiter is to tell them, why don't you come on down and visit the facility? And if you're interested, sit down with us, and we'll do a screening to see if you fit our program. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, all right? Thank you, thank you. Listen, um, just go do what you got to do and come on back, all right? Okay. We'll yeah. be waiting for you, all right? Yeah. Thank, Thank you again. You Thank you very much. All right, congratulations. You have a higher success rate with an individual who can identify with another individual who have been through the same exact things throughout their lives. 60% of our staff here at the Doe Fund are graduates of the Doe Fund. What I bring to recruitment is based on my own life and what I've gotten when I was in the Doe Fund. I told him, I says, listen, I came through the program just like you. And they see me sitting there behind a the desk, and so that gives them hope. Ward's Island was infested. There were guys sitting outside my room smoking K2. My nose stayed in flames, and all I wanted to do was just get out of there. I used drugs over 30 years. Family, friends, daughter, kids, grandkids, I didn't have none of that. I didn't have a place to live. 28 years of, of uh, using drugs, I found myself homeless, jobless, living on the streets of New York City. Prior to coming to the Doe Fund, I had been incarcerated six times throughout my life. And I was 39 years old. Without my involvement with the Doe Fund, the outcome of my life, I probably would have been dead. It's important to have do-overs in life. You made a mistake, you paid your price, and this is a legitimate opportunity here for you to come and, and do the right thing and change your life. We're gonna ride this <laughs> till the wheels fall the wheels off, baby. Fall off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in school, I got my children in my life. My life's changed dramatically, beautifully. I have a car that I can drive to work. I know how to pay my bills on time. I have my daughter in my life. She's in college. I was able to go to her graduation. With 2.2 million people incarcerated in our country, with 600,000 people being released annually, the Doe Fund's Ready, Willing, and Able program will play a critical role in addressing some of our country's most challenging issues. So we have to grow. We have to expand. We have to deliver this program to the people who need it. Our program keeps people out of prison, and it reunites families. Nothing could be more important at this time in our country.